White flag is raised. And they're off. Two miles to go on the seventh and final start Christmas here, December 18th. Amateurs maiden hurdle. And straight off into the lead goes the long odds and favourite Il Ete Tant, heading to the first of seven flights. Leads Song from My Father and Hellison. Ideal de Sierra over in fourth place. Being followed up to the top bend by Chiefs Kingdom. Draco Polkren next. These are being followed in these early stages by Will It Be You? Pashmina next with Slain Hill. And up on the outside is Outdoor Mozzie. King Arthur Sword next with Rock on Jade and Wee Jerry. As they race across the top section of the course, towards the back end of the field, Georgie's Gal and the Grey Knight of Dreams. Stringing them out, Il Ete Tant and Patrick Mullins lead by at least three lengths to Sung for My Father. In third place is Hellison, and then Ideal de Sierg in Chief's Kingdom, Draco Pultra next with Will It Be You, head of Pashmina and Outdoor Mozzie in Slain Hill, and with the noseband King Arthur's Sword, Rock on Jade next, and then We Jerry, Georgie's Gal, and Night of Dreams. Coming downhill from the second flight, in the lead is Il Ete Tant, tracked by Song for My Father, disputing third place, Hellison and Ideal de Sierg, followed by Chiefs Kingdom and Draco Pulker and Pashmina and Will It Be You and Outdoor Mozzie and Slain Hill, followed by King Arthur's Sword and Rock on Jade, bungling that the favourite Il Ete Tant. Circuit to go, four flights left to jump, it's Il Ete Tant. The yellow and purple colours leading by just over two lengths to Song for My Father and Ideal de Sierg is taking closer order. Moves after them in third place. And then Hellison, who's being followed away on their final circuit by Chiefs Kingdom. And then Draco Pulker and Pashmina, Will It Be You? Slain Hill and Outdoor Mozzie and King Arthur's Sword. And then Rock on Jade and Wee Jerry, Georgie's Gal and Night of Dreams, the final couple. Reaching the halfway stage. And they start Christmas here, December 18th, Amateur's Maiden Hurdle. And it's Il Ete Tant by over three lengths to Song for My Father, joined for the second by Ideal de Sierg, and then Hellison, who's dropped off them in the fourth, and then Chief's Kingdom, Pashmina has picked up a bit of ground ahead of Draco Pulkra, and then Slain Hill, Will It Be You, Slight Mistaken Between Horses, then King Arthur's Sword and Outdoor Mozzie and Rock on Jade, and we Jerry four five lengths back to Georgie's Gal and Night of Dreams. Little changes in the order, heading to the last on the far side, this will be three flights from the finish, and it's Il Ete Tant, followed by Ideal de Sierg on the inside, who landed second. Then Song for My Father and Chief's Kingdom next with Hellison, who's dropped a bit of ground. Bit of a break then to Pashmina and Draco Pulker and Slain Hill and Will It Be You ridden along. Then Outdoor Mozzie and King Arthur's Sword. And the back marker of the leading group is Rock on Jade as they come up to the final half mile. Il Nete Tom by two and a half. Leads in second place, Ideal de Sierg. Chief's Kingdom is in third. Sung for my father. It's been knocked back to fourth. And then Hellison and Slain Hill has made some ground ahead of Pashmina and Outdoor Mozzie and Draco Pulkren, Rock on Jade, King Arthur's Sword, and Will It Be You. Turning for home for the final two flights. And it's Illete, Tom and Patrick Mullins. Leading in, ridden along Ideal de Sierg and Jamie Codd. Moving into third place, Chief's Kingdom and Barry O'Neill. And then Hellison and Ross Berry over the second lap. Elile Tant, the leader from Ideal de Sierg, and then Chief's Kingdom, who's trying to make gains on them in third ahead of Hellison. They've gone well cleared of Sunk from my father in Slain Hill, but with one flight left to jump, it's Ilete Tant from Ideal de Sierg, Chief's Kingdom, and Hellison. And over the last goes Ilete Tant, now stretching away on the run for home from Ideal de Sierg, and then Hellison and Chief's Kingdom. But it is Ilete Tant making light of a much easier assignment and comeback. Elete Tom crushes them in the last. From Hellison, Ideal de Sierg, Chief's Kingdom, and sunk for my father next to head of Slane Hill. Patrick Mullins, he was probably going by the line saying, Uwe Vauban, because he always finished <laughs> behind him. Did it well? He did. Um, so look, he was entitled to do it. Um, and now look, I did manage to fall off a 1 to 10 shot in one of these races before, so um, it's never quite simple. But uh, that was. Jumping wasn't perfect either. No, he, he was very relaxed out in front and wasn't really concentrating, but um, the last when we were racing down to it, he picked up and winged that, so I think just for the gears or... Yeah, I th look, I think he's much more mature and relaxed this year. 
and I think he'll jump better when he's in amongst horses. How good might he be? Um, so look, he, last year he was he looked like a solid grade two horse, and uh, I'd like to think he could turn into a, a Supreme or a Ballymore horse. That's that's the dream anyway. Yeah, you, you think he might stay a bit further than the two miles? Well, usually the juveniles can step out and trip, and you know I like jukebox jury. I think they'll stay well, and once he settles, um, I think he can go out and trip. Well done. Thanks so much.